All right, guys, so today we're watching uh, Tropic Thunder. Let's jump into it. It's sweat and busted nut bars available at concessions now. Oh, this is going to be weird, guys. Here we go again. Again. Right. That, I mean, okay. <laughs> Listen, as of right now, I don't want to see any of these movies. They all, they all look terrible. Oh, yes, my dear man. My face. <laughs> Obviously, a uh, Nutty Professor references, guys. Okay, so this has to be part of the movie, guys. This has to be. Like, to be honest, like, seeing Jack Black as, like, some type of, like, action hero or, or anything action-related is pretty odd. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and point that out. No, just, just let it go. Let it go. You, you can't help him. All right, you can't, there's no way you can help that man that's lying on the ground right now currently. You, there's no way. It's time to let him go, guys. Ah, ah, <laughs> ah, ah, is he just is he playing in his his large and and small intestines just for the jokes, guys? Was that for the memes? Is that Robert Downey Jr., guys? <laughs> Because <laughs> that's exactly what I'm going to be bringing back and serving up in this whirly bird. Cover me your lips. That man had probably, oh man, a hundred pieces of lead pushed through his body. All right. And for some reason, he was able to stay up. Okay, so this is like a like a like a parody, obviously. Well, I mean, it's pretty obvious when the guy was, you know, playing in the other guy's intestines, and he got into the helicopter and kept talking. I'm cold, Link. I can't feel. How are these How are these people still alive? How are they still alive? <laughs> Got to pick up sticks against another man. Oh, don't worry, bro. You're gonna live. Sticks. You have to. Because I don't know how you're still talking after, after basically catching a grenade. I don't you, listen. But hey. Oh. Oh. This, this man said, "Hold my hands." There are no hands, bro. There are no hands. They're just just shreds of skin. And me tickling the ivories. You're not tickling nothing, bro. You're tickling nothing. <laughs> You're my brother. <laughs> you are my brother. <laughs> Guys. No. Right? <laughs> Oh, wait a second. Hold on, bro. Okay, so listen. So basically what's going on right now, this is like the most dramatic fake fakeness I have ever seen in a movie ever, guys. Um, and I'm guessing this is basically forecasting what I will be expecting um, consistently from around every corner. Never trust your lying eyes, guys. Oh. Oh. Huh? Sorry, can we cut? She was anywhere when I was peeing, she walked past. What the f*** is going on here? You asking me? <laughs> Bro, I don't know what's happening right now. The massive fourth world break, obviously. This is a movie being filmed in Vietnam of the incident that occurred in Vietnam with Robert Downey Jr. Well, okay. <laughs> Mother Nature just her pants suit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, this movie's terrible, right? Absolutely terrible. <laughs> what I mean by that, obviously, is the movie that's being filmed within the movie. It's 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 going bad, guys. All right, there's no actor uh, cohesion. Right, the pyrotechnic guy is absolutely a terrible person. It seems the movie inside the movie is terrible. You have no real family. You're on the wrong side of forty. You're childless and alone. Oh wow! Somebody close to you said, "One more flop." And it's over. Hit that director in the face. 
really fucking hard. Sorry, man. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> All right. Fear makes him a man. You want to make this movie right? That's where you take your the ass actors. Who is this guy? Uh, Les, that's uh, Four Leaf. I wrote the book. You're a great American. This nation owes you a huge debt. Now shut the f up wow. and let me do my job. Put them in the real shit. Real, real, shit. Shit. real fear in their eyes. Right. Real fear. Real emotion. I mean, method acting generally is a, it's a better option, right? I mean, because it, it puts a, it puts the actor or the person itself into uh, like a very specific situation and allows them to actually respond in a natural way. Um, so, makes sense, right? But it's pretty brutal, just a little bit. Let's go and make the greatest movie ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh. <gasps> <laughs> What? Expected. Not really. I didn't expect that at all, bro. Not gonna lie. What are you gonna do now? <laughs> yeah! That was so... Right. <laughs> what do you even do with that information? Not that. Oh, wow. Okay, hold on. Okay, so the, the overall premise of the movie is actually getting a lot better now. Right. Um, so, yeah, they're about to actually go through reality, reality, and it be filmed. But how did they get the cameras up without those same people hearing or realizing that? Um, I don't know. It's a movie. Let's not dig too deep yet. Let's get it. Prop head when I see one. It's corn syrup, guys. Corn syrup and latex. Taste it. Taste it. Taste it. Warm. It's a pretty cool sidearm you got there. What is, it, what is it? I don't know what it's called. I just know the sound it makes when it takes a man's life. This guy is super intense, guys. I also definitely love the Catcher in the Rye reference, guys. Ain't no Chris Angel mind freak David Blaine trapped all horse jumping off here. Did he just reference David Blaine and his characters from like 1969? All right. Did anyone read the script? This is the ambush. It's funny, they're firing AK-47s, but it doesn't sound like AK-47. You think you're the only one that gets sick when he doesn't have the jelly beans? Yeah, he's the only one that gets sick when you don't have jelly beans, bro. Absolutely. Sometimes we gotta dig deeper to mind the true emotional pain dirt. Thus, we can diagram the source of the pain and then live it. Like, you need to understand the source of what makes them them. Don't just... Mirroring is not really a great thing because you then end up mocking. It's a difference, right? Probably the reason why um, Robert Downey Jr. most likely didn't get much issues from this movie. I can, I can pretty much guarantee that um, because it doesn't feel like mockery, if that makes any sense. You don't buy that? That's Sean Penn, 2001, I am Sam. Went home empty handed. Wow. Message. Oh my. Yeah, I, if you want, I could uh, give the map a look. See, I'll handle the map. Okay. You stick with the program. We we'll get this movie in the can. I'm thinking there could be a Teen Choice Award in it for you. <laughs> a Teen Choice Award, bro. Pretty sure he's like at least. Yeah, man. I mean, he may be 16. Never mind. What do you mean, you people? What do you mean? What do you mean, you people? <laughs> I think what uh, Chuck means is you people. No, look at his ass, man. You people. Look at them beating. Why are you talking to me? I gotta get back to the answers. No, I hate it. It's tough. Ah, you look good. Any tips? What? Any tips you got? You know, like a, there's like the pineapple. Give me that goddamn map. Hey, all right now. 12 pounds. Like a baby? You know, back before the war broke out, I was a saucier in San Antonio. Yeah, noodle some crawfish out the patty, yo. For dessert now, yeah? <laughs> oh, no. Hell yeah! Ha! Hell yeah! Ha! That's how we all talk. Yes. Apparently. Yeah, mm-hmm. Get some crawfish and some ribs. Ha! Well, I think for the most part, everyone likes crawfish and, and ribs. Um, so that's not really a... 
a targeted thing. Absolutely classic episode of Star Trek, guys. Absolutely. Um, what's also funny is uh, these like these video iPods, guys. I definitely do not miss those times. Guys. Bro, who is that? Okay. He got his first W, guys. Is that a stuffed panda bear, guys? I've never been outside the state. <laughs> oh, this guy's a troll. Wait. There is something seriously wrong with this man. Like, seriously. Okay, all right, you killed a fucker. Oh down. my. Here's what you're gonna do. Bro, that's the first thing you came up with? <laughs> like, how many calls does he get like this from his clients? I'm <laughs> out. Expert level withdrawals, guys. He doesn't look Expert good. level. Oh, I must drink so I can throw something. Up. No, don't drink that water. Bro, don't water drink that. Oh, his real tongue is inside that water, bro. All right, his real tongue. For four hundred years. <laughs> oh no. The audacity, bro, but like the the absolutely hilarious audacity, right? Um, let's let him finish his statement. <laughs> that word has kept us down. What the? <laughs> now we up in the big leagues. The Jeffersons? Cannot turn it back, bro. As long as it lives, bro. Me, baby. Enough. Damn. Enough. Some hot tea will make conversing others easier. Bro, I cannot wait until he literally finds out that this is really happening to him and he should probably stop the shenanigans. Oh no, bro, that's that camera's not for you. My leader is not quite as cordial. From my uncle. Okay. Sam. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh Dude, no. You right? Man, you totally leaned into that. I was pulling it back and you just came ah! Hmm. Well, the leader is a child. The leader has a is, is a child with a tattoo on its chest, um, with a cigar in its mouth and a gigantic scar. I have so many questions. Um why is it a child? Let's start there. I missed Oh. oh, I think you realize it's a uh, real thing now. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. More, more. Oh, bro, what are the chances? What are the chances? All right, seriously. This is flaming dragon. Okay, flaming dragon. Face first. Take a big step back. Bro, why is it? Why are his hands so large? Why is he so hairy? All right. And literally, <sighs> your own face. Oh. Oh. Cable. Okay. Swiddies. No. Simple jack teeth. Oh. God. <laughs> no, bro. Don't put that in your mouth. All right. Just imagine the dental hygiene out there in in the brush. Right in the rural lands of either Laos, Myanmar, or Vietnam, they really haven't confirmed where they are currently, right? Because uh, apparently the helicopter, um, they were in a helicopter for hours, right? Either way, um, yeah, don't put that in your mouth, bro. That's that's pretty disgusting. Okay, uh, just just imagine, right? Imagine what? what oh, mentally, <laughs> the mental picture, guys. And oh, and. And it's a cold, hard world. Mm. Shit happens. Wow. We'll weep for him in the press. Set up a we'll weep for him, but only in the press. You want me to let my client of 15 years, one of my best friends, die in the jungle alone for some money in a G5? Yes. 
That's exactly what he wants you to do. And he wants you to shut your mouth about it also. Right? Um, then make sure that um, they basically claim the insurance before the end of the fiscal year. That's what he wants you to do, bro. I thought it was pretty obvious. Scream in heaven. I'll see you tonight when I go to bed in my head movies. I'll see you tonight when I go to bed in my head movies, guys. Oh my God. <laughs> that is amazing. That's, that is amazingly descriptive, guys. Head movies. Never thought about that. Look square in the eyes you say, hey, baby, you and me's going on today. That's in the story. What's the name? Lance. Listen here, Lance. 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 Did you say Lance? No. Um, listen, do your thing, bro. All right. I just, I just wasn't expecting that response. All right. But all right, let's, let's, let's get it. Let's get it. We're here. Lay your ass back down and look at the stars. Oh, bro. Your response immediately told me that it was definitely Lance, bro. All right. Whatever. Do your thing. Don't, just don't, don't lie to yourself. But uh, <laughs> you definitely said Lance, bro. And you meant it. <laughs> Why do you do oh. Bro, what are you doing with your hands, bro? Listen, throw your whole throw throw your whole hands away now, bro. All right, there is no reason for you to be putting your hands in those places in public. <laughs> hey, it's Don't judge me. I'm judging you, bro. I'm a hundred percent judging you, bro. A real serious problem. This is to me. Your son. Is your stick buddy. His name is Twigman. Does he want to come with us? <laughs> All right, so there's definitely like some some Stockholm syndrome going on here now, guys. Is that what it looks like? <laughs> like I honestly thought that that stuff uh, was like black or something. I, I don't. I have no idea honestly what it looks like in in real life. But uh, if that's what it looks like, all right. I think I might be nobody. Wow, <laughs> the insecurity level with you guys is ridiculous. You're the whole reason I got in that. Yeah, I think he may be the, the worst one, guys. Kirk Lazarus. He is definitely the most messed up in the head, bro. Let's go. Ah! Let's get out of here. Bro, yes. Bro, get out of there. It's obviously time to go. Your, your time for being there is over. Leave. Uh, you tell the world what happened here. What happened here? Nothing. I don't know. You need to tell. Bro, nothing happened here. G leave. <laughs> Why? Oh, what? <laughs> bro. bro. Bro, how did this turn into like some like action hero movie? <laughs> Bro, bro, wh where did this man just come from? So obviously he decided not to go with the G5. He went with his friend. But now, <laughs> so now I'm somewhat conflicted. I don't know if I should want for this guy to now have his life extinguished. Now that we realize that he's kind of the good guy here, right? Um, do they land and, and risk everything for him now? Oh, bro, you should have just stayed. Lance, as in Lance from one of those boy bands. All right, Lance. Well, we have made it to the end of this absolutely interesting, glorious, hilarious movie, star-studded with just a countless amount of top-tier A-listing celebrities and in the era that this came out, absolutely. This is one of the best comedies I've ever seen in my life. Um, absolutely genius in many ways. So you start out creating a, a movie that feels like a movie, but really isn't. And then out of nowhere, it breaks the fourth wall, turns into like this behind the scenes thing. Then it ends up becoming what you thought it was in the beginning. It's just like a whole like inception thing. It's glorious actually. For the most part, I couldn't believe really what I was encountering. It was so outlandish. 
right? That you would put like these these A-listing celebrities into the middle of the the jungle and say, "Listen, you now have to really play the part in real life." And it just so happens that there's like this there's this militant ragtag group of thugs in the woods that are immediately thinking now that you are some government entity when you're really just actors playing the part. You know, when, when the guy walked into like that Claymore, the, the mine, right? Basically deleted himself. I think that was probably the most shocking part of the movie, right? Um, because it just so happened that, that the script was kind of written for, for something similar to happen, right? So it was super interesting how that all played out. Now, Robert Downey Jr.'s part was interesting, definitely was shocking at first, and I was just like, okay. Um, we followed along with it, it was fine, right? Um, ended up not being as as crazy as things could be, right? But also tells me that um, people that, that do decide to do that, they know the difference of between between what he did with his part and what other people do when they do that, right? It tells me that the, the differences are, are, are obvious and they are known. So the excuses that some people would give for, for that are meaningless, right? Um, but all right. <clears throat> but now, the question is, is that would I suggest this movie to other people that haven't seen it? Um, I definitely would, because I think that this is like some cultural moment that I definitely missed out on because when it came out, there's a lot of like serious, like meaningful laughs and some social commentary, mainly between the rapper and the, the method actor, right? Um, these two people had a, had a lot of interesting dynamics going on with, with each other. A couple of times in the movie, I heard a couple of lines and I was just like, bro, I think I've heard some of these lines before um, because apparently some of these lines have seeped into pop culture and me hearing these things, it never stood out to me as this was from a movie, but apparently this movie spawned a lot, and I mean a lot of quotables, guys. Like for the most part, like every scene was just like, hilarious and relatable and, and everything that you kind of want when you encounter uh, something like this. Um, absolutely amazing, guys. I, I I cannot find a single real actual complaint about it. Yeah, guys, so just let me know, right? Now, let me know the next movie that we should be checking out. Uh, we do movies every Sunday here, so um, yeah. <laughs> but all right, uh, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day and enjoy it thoroughly, all right?